I'm Nate Hayden here with a video spotlight of pileup functionality from the RSAM Tools Bioconductor Package. I'm going to cover why someone would use pileup, what a pileup is, how to call pileup, the format of pileup results, a demo, and where you can find more information. First, why would someone want to use pileup? Well, pileup is nice because of how easy it is to specify filtering criteria and the flat representation of results that makes it easy to go on for further analysis. One might use pileup in an exploratory step to get an idea of the quality of data in one's BAM files, or to reduce a huge amounts of BAM data to the biologically interesting parts relevant for one's particular analysis. So what is a pileup? First, a definition. The phrase genomic position is just shorthand for the combination of chromosome name and position on that chromosome. So pileup is going to return a data dot frame of the number of alignments overlapping each genomic position that satisfy user specified criteria. The results are optionally distinguished by nucleotide, strand, and read cycle. At its simplest, pileup is a frequency count of the number of alignments that overlap a genomic position, also known as coverage. But pileup offers more than this by allowing sophisticated filtering criteria and distinguishing subcounts by nucleotides, strands, and read cycle positions. So what does optionally distinguished mean, and how do we use it? In a coverage pileup example, the question is simple. How many alignments overlap each genomic position? But with pileup, we can get more information. For example, of alignments that overlap each genomic position, how many align to the plus strand? How many have an A nucleotide code at, at that position? How many have a deletion? We can also ask how many are in the middle five positions within a read, for example, or how many are in the second half of the read. That is, pileup allows the ability to independently count frequencies of strand, nucleotide, and positions within a read, re referred to as read cycle in the literature and documentation, for each genomic position. Now, how does one call pileup? Other than the BAM file, pileup expects two optional parameters. Scan BAM param is the same that is used for the scan BAM function. Scan BAM param will control what input gets fed to the logic that processes the reads to apply the filtering criteria. For example, this is what you use to specify limited genomic ranges with the which parameter, and to control what strands are included in, out in input through scan BAM flags. Pilot param is where you specify filtering criteria and indicate what subcounts to do in terms of distinguishing attributes. How does one interpret pileup output? Each row in the return data dot frame represents the unique combination of genomic position and distinguishing attributes, such as strand and cycle bin, and the frequency of that combination. This will be illustrated in the demo. You can think of it as what you would use to plot a histogram of coverage depth, but we can add the dimensions of distinguishing attributes. Note also that rows that do not satisfy criteria are dropped. For example, if I said min nucleotide depth of 7, and only six C nucleotide codes appear at a given genomic position, that row will not appear in the results. Now it's time for a demo. Prepare your bioconductor installation with the following commands. Obviously, if you already have the RSAM tools package installed, you don't need to reinstall it. I'll start the demo by loading the relevant packages. Now, pileup is well documented. We can check out what filtering criteria are available by bringing up the documentation for pileup. I'll leave that to be explored on your own. Here I'm going to select the file to use for the demo, and then I'm going to create a BAM file instance just so we can get the length of the chromosome we're going to be looking at in order to create a range that includes just the first half of the chromosome. Now in this first example, we're going to ask for a pileup with default filtering pileup parameters. Note here the appearance, the appearance of the which label column in the result data frame. It automatically appears when we specify a which argument to scan BAM param so we can maintain grouping of results in the event that we ask for overlapping ranges. Here also is an illustration of optionally distinguishing counts. If we were to sum the count in all the rows for each genomic position across the strand and nucleotide values, we would end up with a coverage pileup. As, as an example of how pileup enables creating human-readable data summaries, I'll create a table of the occurrences for each nucleotide for each strand. So here, for example, we can see that there were 130 deletions on the plus strand 
for the data that we read in. In this next example, I'll set some of Pilot Param's filtering criteria with non-default values, and I will collapse counts across strand and nucleotide, creating a coverage pileup. I collapse counts by setting distinguished nucleotides and distinguished strands to false. I set minimum map quality to 13 and min base quality to 10 in order to exclude low quality data. By setting the min nucleotide depth to 4, I say that any given nucleotide must appear four times at a genomic position in order to be included in the results. So now I call pileup with the scan BAM param from before and the pileup param we just created. So there's the beginning of the result data frame. Next, I'll create a coverage depth plot of the data that matched our filtering criteria to get an idea of how much of the data from the BAM file I'm actually interested in. For the next example, I'll do an illustration of a typical use case for cycle bins. See the embedded comments and pileup documentation for why one would use cycle bins. You should also be familiar with the cut function in the R base package. Here, I create a pileup param that says I want to delimit re read cycles by bins that go from 1 to 7, 8 to 12, and 13 to the end of the read. To get a summary, I create a cross-tabulation of count with nucleotide and cycle bin as classifying variables. Then as an illustration, I do some cheap normalization to get a sense of the data. Each of the examples so far has used a which argument to scan BAM param to limit the ranges we want to examine. In this example, I'll show how pileup can be invoked to count an entire BAM file all at once. It's as simple as calling pileup without a scan BAM param argument. Now the result data frame we get back includes pileup information for all the reads in the entire BAM file. Note the which label column is absent. Since we didn't give specific ranges, each genomic position was counted only once, so there's no chance of specifying overlapping ranges, and therefore no risk of confusing which rows go with which range. In this last example, I'll use the yield size functionality available for the BAM file class to manage memory consumption while I'm using pileup on an entire BAM file. The use case for this is actually when you have a very large BAM file and want to invoke pileup for the entire file. I'm just using a smaller file here for illustration. By setting the yield size value on the BAM file instance, we can limit the number of alignments that get fed as input each time, thereby allowing us to set rough upper bounds on the amount of memory to use. I start by creating a BAM file instance with a yield size and opening the instance so it remembers in between pileup invocations where the last alignment read in was and buffers in complete genomic positions. I repeatedly invoke pileup, and just for illustration purposes, note along the way how many rows are in the result data frame each time. Of course, I could do whatever I want with the data frames along the way, such as appending the results to a file. Finally, I finish my calling close on the BAM file instance. That concludes the demo. You can find more information about Pileup and other great RSAM tools functionality by going to the RSAM tools package landing page. And again, Pileup is very well documented and has many examples. You'll find everything you need by looking at the man page. Thanks for watching.